guys just got home and as you see on the trailer back here I got the fetching arch on there and a pretty good sized tulip poplar that's about a 12 footer got a lot done today got a lot of firewood cut more firewood cut actually than cutting up logs that's got to be done anyways. I hate leaving a mess for these property owners and they give me these trees. I always try to clean it up and do the best I can to stack it. You don't want to go in there and just pull the timber out and just leave the, you know, leave the tops for them. But uh, that's another part of this sawmill business stuff is uh, if you get your name out there, you'll have more than enough people calling with uh, trees on the ground trying to give you timber all the time. I have no trouble finding logs here and I'm very lucky to have people that uh, call upon me and I'll just go and help them clean the mess up and haul the timber out. And uh, it's really a win-win for both of us. They get the mess cleaned up and I get free timber, so you can't beat it. But kind of a short video today. I went over there and it was still really wet. I had trouble with the four-wheeler and the logging arch uh, pulling this poplar out. I actually had to use my winch to pull me out. It was uh, pretty wet down this little hole where the tree was. But we got it out of there. It just took a little effort and a little bit of the winch helping us out. And uh, after we got that done, got the poplar loaded up, uh, you'll see in the video here, use the fetching arch here for the first time. Really happy with how that went. And uh, toward the end of the video, I started cutting up another piece of uh, timber that we'll be harvesting here in the next few days because uh, we won't be going back tomorrow because the rain is coming again. We had a good weather today, and wouldn't you know it, tomorrow the rain's coming right back. So uh, I don't know when I'm going to be back over there. Hopefully, maybe Thursday. Because the poplar attached to this uh, tall skinny one here is about 25 inches. It's an eight and a half footer. It's going to make some, for some real nice boards when I get it to the sawmill. But it's going to be hard to get out of there because, you know, like I said, it's wet conditions. So what do you do? You wait till it gets dry, but it rains every day. So anyways, kind of a short video, but I just want to demonstrate this fetching arch here. This is the first time I used it today. I want to show you guys how it worked and uh, one of the different applications that you can use it with. Last thing, you guys that are voting for me over on the FedEx site, that is really appreciated, and I'm hoping to at least win a part of that prize and maybe get a better skid steer in here in the next few months if that happens. So, well, I'm going to shut up now. We'll show the footage from today's work, and if you've got any questions about this uh, fetching arch behind me, I'll leave a link down below to LogRite, who makes it with all their specifications, and if you've got any questions about it, if it's not answered there, just leave them in the comments below. So hit the like button if you guys don't care. We'll get going. All right, thanks for hitting that, guys. I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but I've got to remind you guys to hit the like button. It helps these videos get out there. I'll say that time and time again.
them hard and fast Though the wind may knock us down My dear will last Give it time.